Well, we're not done. Looks like this is going to be D&D &D number 5, part 2, XL. So, first part we wrapped up the uh, receiver for the D-ring. Well, my buddy Brad says, hey, check this one out. So he brings me this one. <laughs> yeah, she's a big one. She's a big one. Uh, geez, that's seven inches wide there. Overall length, uh, geez, about a foot. And here's the pin. So the pin is about two and a quarter inches in diameter. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the other one using the uh, quarter or inch and a quarter inch plate and what we're going to do is we're going to take two of them this is one slab I got the other one over there in the mill ah. and then weld them up and then that will that's going to slide in here so what I thought I'd do is show you where we're working where we're at now So this is the first one, got the hole drilled out. What I did is I used a uh, hole saw, since I don't have any bits big enough. The largest drill bit I got is uh, one and a half inch. And we're going to be taking this hole out to uh, 2.240. So. This one's one, uh, two inches and an eighth, roughly. Of course, it's going to wobble, so the hole's just a tad bit bigger than that. So what I'm going to do is I want to bore it out. But um, what I thought I'd do is uh, <clears throat> show you this boring cutter, Randy Richards, at uh, Randy Richard in the shop. He made this, and um, so go to his channel, great guy, and he showed how he made it, and he encouraged everybody else, hey, knock one out yourself, so I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, and we're going to uh, bore this puppy out to uh, 2.240. So let me get it set up. We'll do a little bit of boring action, and um, we'll have some fun. So hang on. All right, hopefully you can see this. Uh, got everything set up. I made one pass because the hole was still kind of oblong because you know, these hole saws don't cut a nice true hole. They're going to be all wobbly. So I'm getting her cleaned up. So we'll make a pass. We'll do a little bit of boring here. on auto feed so we're getting ready to start cutting about now taking ten thousands off for a total of twenty thousands 
it seems to be good with that uh, triangular insert right now on this stuff. Doesn't have to be real precise, so I'm just using the guessometers here. Don't need to bring out the telescoping gauges and the micrometers. Uh, we're at about uh, 2181. So I need uh, 40, about 60,000 more to go. Well, come on, baby. Stay tight for me. I'm trying to work around this camera here. I found that the graduations aren't exactly perfect. This uh, import born head, so about the only way to do a precision measurement. Let me see if I can back you up a little bit. Let's hook up the dial gauge. So I know exactly what I'm running in here. So, come on, get the backlash out of this thing. About another 10 off, so total 20. Alrighty, when we finish this up, I'll bring you guys back. Well, just got it wrapped up. And I decided to change my dimension to two. 0.250 after I started checking it and that pin is kind of oblonged a little bit not true so that seems to be about the fattest part of it so I think uh, huh, doesn't get any better than that if you can see that 2250 on the money so sweet alrighty so we'll pull this one out and get another one in it and rinse and repeat hey guys so back in the shop making these monster d-ring holders we've got brad back over here so i've got him at the bandsaw so we're cutting these down so that's 11 inches we had to cut off of it so that was one cut and we're gonna get the other one cut and then we're getting the uh, the notches in here done. So there's a little bandsaw action. I got bandsaw Brad over here again today. So we're getting this uh, getting this notched out right here.
So, basically got these two cut out. Got the hole, hole sawed, and bored to dimension. And then we cut this. Ah, and this thing's heavy. Notch this out. Put in this solid piece of trailer hitch receiver stock. So now V'd it all the way around. So next up is to weld this baby up. We'll weld this up. And this project will be done. You can see uh, the one we had over here at the bandsaw. So cut these pieces off. And then we got all the other little nuggets over there. So let me uh, get the welder in position, get my weather and stuff on. And then um, I'll run a few beads. Don't look too bad. Let me uh, run some more passes. Well, she's all welded up. Just got to uh, knock off the little weld boogers here and there. And then uh, break the edges on that very outer perimeter. And then um, slap some paint on her. And Slider in the back of a, a receiver hitch and hang the honking D-ring and she'll be ready to go. Well guys, there she is. A little test fit. So now all I gotta do is uh, throw some paint on her. But to give you an idea of how massive this big thing is, it, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I got it in the back of my tow truck right now, but on a little bit of an incline, so it's on the ground. It's not hanging free, so you get an idea of how big this thing is. But anyways, nothing like uh, overkill. So hope you enjoyed this one. This is D&D uh, &D number 5XL. And this is Tom with Hilltop Machine Works, and checking out.